Hey guys, it's Stella Hall and it's the start of spring semester here at Iona College. The weather is a little bit rocky right now, but so is the entertainment world. From betrayal to Grammys, we have all the drama coming up on this episode of Inside Iona Entertainment. Today we're spilling the piping hot tea with our new segment, Spilled It. Jesse Smollett was attacked in Chicago on January 29th. Smollett claimed the attack was a hate crime targeted at his status as an African-American gay man. Initial reports claim the assailants were screaming MAGA propaganda and discriminatory slurs while they put a noose around him and poured an unidentified substance on him. But wait, moment of silence for this crazy twist. It was all apparently fake. As of this recording, Jesse Smollett was arrested and indicted for filing a false police report and planning his own attack. He hired two background actors from his show Empire to wear ski masks and attack him. He could face up to three years in prison. Many speculate that he was being written off the hit show, and he used this as a publicity stunt to keep his role. Cardi B took to social media to call out Jesse Smollett, saying he ruined Black History Month. But many are reserving their judgments until more details come forward. Spilled it. The next drama taking over the headlines involves the Kardashian empire. Khloe Kardashian broke it off with her long-term boyfriend and father of her child, Tristan Thompson, 10 months after the birth of their daughter, True Thompson. The reason behind the split just came to light. He cheated for the second time and allegedly with Kylie Jenner's best friend, Jordan Woods. Thompson and Woods were reportedly spotted getting a little too cozy for comfort at a house party during Valentine's Day weekend, and a source claims they saw the pair making out. Jordan didn't leave until 7 a.m. the following day. Chloe and her friends took to Instagram to further confirm the scandal. The group commented under a post by Hollywood Unlocked, which had a man talking about the hookup between Jordan and Tristan. The video's creator summarized saying, once a cheater, always a cheater, and how Jordan is also at fault. Chloe commented shouting emojis and Larsa Pippen commented amen under the post. There has been no further confirmation or denial of the allegations. According to sources, Kylie was in denial for days over the news, and Chloe had the heartbreaking news confirmed to her Tuesday. Tyler Henry, a.k.a. The Hollywood Medium, predicted that Chloe and Tristan would not work out. In his reading with both Kylie and Chloe, Tyler stated that an outside party close to both of them would interfere in one or the other's love lives. According to People's Magazine, Kylie is still torn and had Jordan move out of her guest home. And to that, we say, spilled it. All right, let's do a quick Grammy recap, people. Rapid Fire starting right now. Alicia Keys hosted the Grammys and did an amazing job. She played two pianos at once and sang a medley of chart-topping songs that we all wish would have been available on Apple Music. Miley Cyrus and Shawn Mendes took the stage to duet Shawn's latest single, In My Blood, and Miley Cyrus also came on later for a Dolly Parton tribute, amongst other stars with her godmother, the queen of country herself, Ms. Dolly Parton. Cardi B won Best Rap Album and got a lot of hate for it, even deleting her Instagram for a short period of time because it was too much for her. Dua Lipa won Best New Artist, This Is America won Best Record and Song of the Year. Album of the Year went to Casey Musgraves, a country singer, which came as a shock to most. That's all the piping tea and recaps we have for today's episode, but check the link below and subscribe to Iona College TV for more on news, sports, and entertainment. See you next time. Stella Hall, signing off.